Welcome back to Nkumbi Telimba. Today we are at Protein here in Bogolobi, a company solving Kampala's organic waste problem. Currently, Kampala produces 3,800 tons of rubbish. 70% of that is organic waste. Kampala Capital City Authority collects 40% organic waste. Now, KCCA working with protein is repurposing organic waste using the black soldier flies to make protein oil, protein feed, and protein fertilizer. Protein started as a research program four years ago and now boasts of three centers. Together, let's discover how they are turning waste into cash. Welcome to Nkumbi Telimba. My name is Luswawi Joseph and I'm um, the Special Project Manager with an agriculture background, 23 years old. Protein was started in 2018 with a simple research of how best can we actually overcome the organic waste burden. As we move, we are always proud putting our heads high that we're cleaning cities, feeding millions and employing the future. So this is the protein logo as we turn Uganda's trash into cash. Now that you've talked about turning waste into cash, what, what are some of those products that you have coming out of your facilities? One is the byproduct, which is the organic fertilizer. So literally, as the larvae, we feed them onto the organic waste. They're going to break it down using their enzymes. Then they pass out a pool, which is nutrient rich. So the pool is now enhanced and we make our organic fertilizer. Two, we have the feed, which is the profit. We have the full fat, which has 23% crude fat and 42% crude protein. Once we extract the fat out, we increase the protein content. So we get now the defatted larvae, which is also profit. So that's another line of product. So with more than 50% crude protein content and the lower fat content. And also now the oil. So we have the pro oil, pro feed, and the pro -tlizer. These are magnificent virgin products on the market. So what inspired protein? Our approach was more onto the farmer basis. Farmers don't have reliable sources of fertilizer. Farmers are getting, they don't have actually reliable source of protein. What was being used was the silver fish, normally adulterated with sand. Discovering that the waste was a problem to the city, because if you look at the figures, we are looking at 3,800 tons of waste being generated on a daily basis, and of which 70% of this is organic waste. How are you going to recycle, or how are you going to actually divert this organic waste? So protein came around to solve the organic waste problem. Farmers' solution to get a reliable source of fertilizer, a reliable source of animal feed, and also to create a new industry that is ready to onboard different youths with a, without competing out any job. We have our breeding center in Namave, which is a high-tech, climate-controlled, allowing us to produce a lot of organic, a lot of eggs. And then we have the outgrower scheme in Kangurumira, where we also empower farmers to do the production of the larvae for themselves to obtain the fertilizer. Now, for someone who hasn't come to your center to see what you're doing physically, help them break down the process of how you get this waste to become fertilizer, to become oil. How do you do it? So protein just juggles around the life cycle of a fly. So we do rear the black soldier flies, not the house flies, because we have our parent stock. So the fly will now lay the eggs, the eggs will hatch into the larvae, the larvae will grow further into the pupa. We get waste from the markets, bring it here, process it, and then we put it into the drums. In the drums, we are looking at the waste actually fermenting. After fermentation, we are going to mix this organic waste with 90% organic waste and then 5% the agro byproduct. After, we get a uniform rearing substrate. 
We now introduce the substrate into the rearing crates that we have. It will take only one week, got me right, one week for this feed to be fully utilized by the larvae and then they pass out a pool. So after this one week, on the eighth day, we now collect the larvae. We are now separating the larvae from the, from the pool. We now take the pool as our organic fertilizer for further maturation and the larvae, we take it for further processing as our feed. What do we do to the larvae? We are going to take the larvae, wash them very clean, and then bleach, blanch them in hot boiling water for a limited period of time without denaturing the protein as well. We are eliminating any kind of microorganisms so that we deliver the best feed for our farmers. We then dry this larvae onto our industrial dryer, getting a 42% crude protein feed and a 23% crude fat feed. So this is the full fat larvae. So we take now the, the larvae into the oil expeller machine. Take out the oil and then get out the protein concentrate. What are we getting here? We are getting a concentrate and we are getting a byproduct as an oil. So that becomes a pro-oil and the other one is also profit, high protein content. Remember we have also the full fat, profit. So we take the fertilizer for further maturation where it's going to further decompose. So we are looking at the microbial activity working on this fertilizer, accumulating a lot of heat and then doing the self-elimination. After that, we are now going to take the fertilizer, combine it with the trichoderma. So this is a beneficial fungus. We also add in chitin, which is a natural biological pesticide. These components make our fertilizer very unique. Why, why the black soldier fly? The black soldier fly is really special in that it's a natural fly in our environment, first of all. And uh, research shows it that it has not been known for any of the spreading of the diseases. A fly, that fly, is really highly fertile because it will lay about 500 to 1,000 eggs. Where can people find pro-oil, pro-fertilizer, pro-feed? For the full fat, we are serving the pig farmers for now. And it's really doing good because they are our biggest clients. Uh, pro-oil, we are looking at still the feed mixers and the pig farmers because the oil has been actually re researched on and it has antibacterial properties. Uh, we are also looking at feed mixers who do feeds because it's really, really very good. Uh, for the fertilizer, we are looking at all crops. However, we look at special interest in the coffee industry because they have more money as well and they have more farms. So for now, we actually sell it from the warehouse where we produce it because it's our, we've not yet got outlets as such. Uh, however, we also welcome, there are some people who are expressing interest to be agents. So for now, we have not yet got so many, but we are selling everything at the, at the factory here. Moving on, I want to understand roughly how much you need in terms of waste, how many tons you need in terms of waste, and then if you get that those tons of waste, how much you will get in terms of the final product? So we are looking at about, uh, we are looking at 350 tons of waste on a monthly basis. Uh, we are looking at production of four tons of feed in a month. And we are looking at production of uh, 60 tons of fertilizer in a month. That is with the current situation where we have the machines which are breaking down. But then we intend to increase this capacity as soon as we have the new line of machines which are to be set in the next two days and uh, we are projecting to be pro to be recycling uh, time was two and production time was two of the figures at scale once we get into our future warehouse that we are looking for we're already looking out for investment so that we can actually expand this and make it a viable business so we shall be producing uh, 200 tons of, of fertilizer fertilizer in a month, 30 tons of feed in a month, and 7 tons of oil in a month. So that is if we go five times to a 2,500 square meter factory. And that will mean we are diverting 95 tons of waste every day. Hello. My name is Kayanja Nathan Cornelius, a breeding manager, Malula Protein Uganda Limited, and 
We do black soldier fly breeding and I will briefly take you through the criteria on how we do produce the five day old larvae. Uh, the inactive stage of the fly, that is the pupa stage, is brought from the Bugolovi site uh, and delivered onto the breeding site. Uh, when the pupa is delivered here, we do house it into our love cages. And it is from the pupae that the flies will emerge. The reason why we place the pupae into the love cages is because that at one time we do expect uh, the flies to emerge, uh, thereby uh, the male flies and the female flies will have to engage, that is mate, that is making the love, and of course, we do expect fertilization. If there is mating, then there is supposed to be fertilization, uh, which is evidenced from the fertilized eggs or fertile eggs that are, pro uh, are laid by the female what? black soldier fly. Because of the attractive color of the cloth, all flies, that is the female flies, and the male flies within the love cage will have to get attracted to it, thereby uh, increasing chances for the male ones to engage with the female ones. The attractant containers uh, do hold what we call the attractant substance, a smelly substance that do attract the flies to lay nearby. Yeah, the fogging system does ensure that there would be high temperatures within the environment are uh, reduced unto the conducive temperatures. When eggs are got from the love cages, uh, we do bring them to our working table. We do scrape the eggs off the egg pieces. Uh, so we later on do weigh the eggs in grams such that we can trace the performance of each cage and get to know the reason as to why each cage is performing accordingly. Uh, after getting to know how many grams of eggs have been availed by which kind of love cage, uh, we now do prepare the eggs for introduction into the incubator. Uh, we do prepare a starter substrate or a starter feed where we do expect our baby larvae that will have hatched from the eggs to start feeding. Uh, the starter feed is uh, composed of different feed stuff such as the cow dyes concentrate uh, that is properly mixed with the market waste that is the shredded waste uh, from the Bugolovi facility. After properly mixing the two feedstuff, uh, we now do introduce a hatchling shower, which is just a metallic frame on which we place the eggs and take each and everything into the incubator. We finally do introduce them into the incubator where they will have to spend four days. Hatching is as immediate as possible, but within the first four days, all the eggs will have hatched. And by day five, uh, the hatchlings will have acted on the starter feed, producing a residue that will have to be separated from the five-day-old larvae, which will have reached uh, a prominent size ready for inoculating within the bio waste uh, that is at the treatment facility. Turning waste into cash is what protein is all about. Today we have seen how they do it and we must credit them for having youth at the forefront of their operations. Let's use the story of protein as inspiration for us to have sustainable agricultural projects that support our environment. 
Thank you for watching and Kumbi Telimba.